A man has to slap around my around sometime. What you doing, Doc? It's criminal, man. One day he's gonna hurt me. She wants me to hit her, she likes it. You slam her head into gear shifts in the car. She says, Richard, hit me by the way she at. You need you to tell the truth. You're a woman beater. She's my property. You're not a man, you're a coward. See, that deserves a slap right there. No man will ever put their hey. hands on me. I'll slap any woman around who don't stay in their place. That's you put your thing. hands on me for nothing. I think she's cheating on me. You cheat on her. You took a lie detector test. Everything you okay. get, you deserve. Okay, well. I want to make a change to help my relationship out with my girlfriend. Did you ever punch her in the face? No. <laughs> Punched and kicked her in the stomach while she's pregnant? And then when I tried to scream for help, he covers my mouth. Get your ass out of my chair. <laughs> You're exposed for what you are really doing. I'm here for a reason. Yeah, okay? because she's tired of you kicking her ass. If you loved me, you wouldn't spit in my face. While she's holding your son, you become physically violent with her. What is running through your pea brain when you're doing that? The couple you are about to meet were living a normal, happy life together until a year ago. Shanta says that is when her fiance suddenly began punching her in the face, smashing her head into windows, and choking her. According to her fiance, Richard, this is how men should deal with disobedient women. Take a look. Steve, I'm here because my fiance after three years is just so violent to me and I needed to stop. Yes, destroyed my property. He's cheated. When I don't listen to what he has to say, he gets violent and he hits me, he chokes me, he calls me names. He has thrown me against the wall. He'll jump on top of me. I have to tell him what he wants to hear before he lets me up. If we're in the car and we get into an argument, he gets my head and he slams it against the shift gear. Just bang, 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 and then he throws my head against the window. I deserve more. I deserve, I have been through this a lot of times. And this is not the route that I want to go. Um, how do you feel seeing that? I mean, I don't feel nothing. She deserve it. Um, yeah, she, she, she deserve it. Uh, a woman need to be controlled by a man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A woman need to be controlled by a man. A woman needs to be controlled by That's a man. That's right. So, um, do you have a feeling of pride when she's saying that? I have a real feeling of pride, but that, you know, you don't understand. I work 28, 29 hours a day. I come home, this woman got, <laughs> I mean, this woman got no, no food. She's got nothing cooked. A woman needs to be controlled by a man. A woman needs to listen to what a man say. And not, um, y'all understand. Richard, um, tell me the story standing up, though, okay? I stand up. Um, so, hey, I stand up. But I stand up because I'm not wrong. I stand up, okay. but I'm not wrong. Well, what woman wants that? Like, oh, I want to be controlled. Now, I know there's probably a few, but it doesn't sound like watching the tape, watching your fiance, doesn't sound like she wants to be attacked. I do everything control. for this woman. I do everything for this woman. I, I, two years, two years, I never put my hand on this woman. Two years, you know, I never been in an abusive relationship. This woman turned me into this. She turned me into this. She nags so, at me all the time. So I'm for two years, you were dating, and you never put your I hands on her. I never put my hands on her. And she kept on nagging what at me. Was, what was the, the first time you, what did you do? You slapped her, you punched her? Well, the first time, you know, uh, I, I worked 31 hours, and I came home, and I had no food, none, none, none to eat. No food, was, nothing was cooked. I told her, go in there, fix me something to eat, you know? Right. You know, she, I mean, she wouldn't fix me nothing to eat. So, you know, she kept on, she kept on nagging at me. And I slapped her. Okay, so you slapped her across the face. I slapped her across the face. Now, when, when, when you did that, now, and you say that you weren't that way, right? I weren't that way. For two years? Two you years. You never put your hands up? The moment that your hand cracked across her face, what did you think? I'm thinking she need to go fix me something to eat. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Really? Yeah, that's you what I'm thinking. You didn't think, oh my God, what did I just do? Hey, listen, listen, listen. Just because you're a woman doesn't make you a woman. A woman needs to listen to what her man says. A woman needs to do for a man. I'm taking care of this woman. I've been taking this woman three years. This woman ain't had no job. Once you start beating them, you're not taking care of them anymore. I don't want to abuse her, man. All she got to do is listen to what I say. 
A woman, I'm with a woman. I mean, that woman, she's my property. I'm going to tell you straight up. She's my property. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm taking care of this woman. Okay, hold on. Now, see, I, I, I know I'm stopping you. Do you really, are, are you just coming out as a character? No, or no. is this Richard the no, man no. who really believes that a woman is their property? This is what I strongly really believe. I'm working 89 hours a week. I come to the so house. So you're a hard working guy? I'm working, yeah, okay. 89 hours a week. That's a lot of hours. I, I come to the house, y'all you know, understand, this woman don't have no food cooked. Your woman didn't cook a plate of food and you're beating her up? No, not just that. Can't you cook your own damn food? I'm tired, for, I'm tired for work. I want to come home. I want to eat. I want to go take a bath. I oh, want to okay. go lay down. You know, this woman, she just want to nags me around, man. She nags me. She does it on purpose. She want me to hit her. She, she wants me to hit her. Says, she likes it. She says, Richard, hit me. No, but, yeah, she says, Richard, hit me by the way she at. A man has to stop a woman around sometime. What you doing, dog? It's criminal, man. You're not a man. You're a coward. See, that deserves a slap right there. I'll slap any woman around who don't stay in their place. Did you ever punch her in the face? No. Fire! And then when I try to scream for help, it covers my mouth. Get your ass out of my chair. No man will ever put their hand on me. What you doing, dog? It's criminal, man. You're not a man. You're a coward. See, that deserves a slap right there. I'll slap any woman around who don't stay in their place. You know, a man has to slap a woman around sometime, man. Hey, I'm serious, man. I'm serious. Hey, I'm from, you know where I'm from? Now, you know, your fiance says every day that you abuse her every day. I don't abuse her every day. Why do you stay with her if she causes you all this unhappiness? Why do I stay with her? Yeah. Because I think... I, I really believe I can change her. I, I think that, change you know, I, I really believe I can change her. I invested, I invested too much money in her. Maybe. I invested too much money in this woman, man. I'm not just finna walk away. I, I done gave this woman a lot of things, man. What'd you give her? Man, she, she, I, Navigator, a Hummer, Lexus. I didn't put a lot of money in this woman. You gave her a Navigator, a Lexus, and a Hummer? And a Hummer. You know, she got a... How many cars? She needs so many cars. Uh, she got a four-bedroom house. By the, by the way, I work, man. Okay. I make nine hundred thousand. You know what I mean? I make money. I'm a money maker. I know how to make money. Yeah, I'm a money maker. Um, some of the things you do to your fiance, hitting her, beating her. I don't. I don't hit. I slap her. That's different. <laughs> I slap any woman around who don't stay in their place. I, if I'm if I'm dating a woman, she don't. I mean, man, this stuff is serious, man. You know, because a woman, man, a woman. You don't think a woman should cook for a man? If a man working 20 hours, should a, should a woman have some, some food cooked for him when he get out? I think a woman should cook for a man if she wants to. And that night, it's just not the, just, it's just not the cook meal. It's a dirty house. I come home, she, she, uh, the, the house is dirty. You know, she won't do a lot of things I tell her to do. I'm tired of it, man. I've been with this girl going on three years. You know, it was good. The first time it was good, she used to listen to, she used to, listen to me. She, I mean, every time I went to work, I had food to take to work. Every time I came home, I had my food cooked. She used to massage my feet. She don't even massage my feet no more. I, I come home, man. You know, man, she don't even massage my feet no more. And I know why okay. she don't massage my feet. She's seeing somebody else. Okay. I oh, ain't stupid. You think she's so? Okay. Um, does, she got respect me, man. Is there any person in this audience that agrees with Richard? That like thinks along as long as uh, somebody that they, they scared. No, do you really? They, they scared. Somebody really? agree with me? Come on, somebody agree. They scared, man. You need to get me. Um, can't nobody hold beat on, me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can't nobody beat me. Can't nobody beat me. Can't nobody beat me. Can't nobody beat me. You will have a last All right, Grandma. All right. All right, All right. sit down, Grandma. I'll cook your man meal. Probably beat you. Be your last if a man beat you, you probably be better. Right, sit down. Sit down, Grandma. Sit down, Grandma. Sit down, Grandma. She don't have to sit down. Sit down, she don't sit down. Have to sit down. okay. All right. All right. All right, sit down. Sit down. You don't have Both to put your hands on somebody beat. to Both get them to listen to, to you. Beat. You, you don't have to put your hands on somebody to get them to listen to you. Use your mind. Come on. Use your mind. Sit down. Come on. Come on. Sit down, Grandma. Sit down, Grandma. No, no, no. no. Sit down, Grandma. Sit down, Grandma.
down, Grandma. Does, does anybody else want to make a comment? What you doing, dog? It's criminal, man. And no, it's sick. Man. You should be ashamed of yourself. No, man. It's not criminal. It's not criminal. How would you feel if someone was to beat your mom? What? If someone beat your mom's ass because she, she didn't cook no dinner. If she didn't cook a dinner, she deserved it. I agree with the dinner being cooked, but ain't nobody supposed to put your hands up. How would you feel? You can't feel like a man. There's no way you can feel like a man. How do you feel about yourself when you look at yourself in the mirror every day? Hold on, hold on, hold on. How do you feel about yourself? Just because you're a woman doesn't mean you're a woman. No, I'm a woman. I provide for myself. That's a woman. I have a job and two kids and I provide for myself. No man will ever put their hand on me. Are you thinking so? Can I just ask you a question real quick? If you had a daughter, would you let a man beat your daughter? Let me answer you. Can I answer you? Can I answer your question? Ask me a question. No, I'm gonna answer your question. Ask me. I have four daughters. And guess oh, what? And you no, guess what? I'm raising okay. them. I'm you raising them to know doing how. Is okay. I'm raising them to know better when they you get in a relationship. To know, in to know how to treat a man. Woman, they will know how to treat a man. Hey, you a woman. I'm a, you not yeah, equal to a man. You not equal to a man. You not equal to a man. A woman will never be equal to a man. You a woman. You a woman. Nothing. You will never be equal to a man. Because I would never let you put my your hands on me. Hey. Hey. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. The only excuse you've given, you said, just because you're a woman, you're not a woman. Just because you're a man, you're not a man. You're a coward. You believe that? You up for breakfast. Oh, really? They sound like idiots. They sound like idiots. Much. Go ahead. You want respect from a woman, you need to give respect to a yeah. woman. And you say that you're teaching, wait, you say that you're teaching respect. your four daughters I give how respect. to act the right way towards a man? No, you're teaching them to sit there and if a man starts beating on them, to take it. Ain't nobody and gonna I beat feel them. sorry for you because whoever taught you to think that way, and if you really believe that, you should, that a woman is your property, you believe woman. that in your heart, you're going to hell. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, guys, hold on. That's not true. I just have one thing to say. We all know that you're just trying to make up for that small you got there. Oh! You need you to need tell to the truth. Like you put true. your hands on me for nothing. There's nothing, she's cheating on me. Do you cheat on her? Yeah. Everything you okay. get, you deserve. Okay, well punched and kicked her in the stomach while she's pregnant. And then when I tried to scream for help, he covers my mouth. Get your ass out of my chair. I'm here for a reason. Yeah, because she's tired of you kicking her ass. You need you to need tell the truth. You, you put true. your hands on me for nothing. I think she's cheating on me. Do you cheat on her? Everything you okay. get, you deserve. Okay. Man, I'm not gonna say nothing bad about you, but my mother's abused when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you gotta be better than that. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, if something wrong with you, you're lacking something, but you're gonna find yourself either in jail or find yourself by yourself. I've never been in jail before in my life, 33 years old. Find something better than that, homeboy. Never been in jail. I worked out my life. I worked out my life. Never been in jail. I don't yeah, have no criminal you, record. But you are going to, it's a possibility you are going to go to jail for now, what? Half of y'all here being in jail. Then you're not going to be able to work 89 hours yeah, a week. half of y'all here being in jail. Okay. Let's go. Two more. Two more. So I just want to say that I'm really glad that you came on this show because I know people like you don't change, but every woman in America is going to know who you are and hopefully it can serve as a lesson for them to stay away from you. <laughs> I 
have a lot of respect for you for coming on this show or whatever and coming out here and try to work things out with your girlfriend, but I was raised around domestic violence and everything, and it affected me. You said you have daughters? Girl. Like, that's, that's wrong. I was raised in a family of six, and every single child in that family has issues now because of that. I've been in counseling and everything my whole entire life. I've had to take medication because of nightmares and stuff. I'm afraid of men because of you. No. Not me. Not me. Um, um, and, and really, and everybody in this audience, and, and I want to thank everybody for speaking up, to me, it's amazing that a guy like you comes on the show, says the things you do. There's, you know, let's, all this, you well, know, I'm all this. Beating him. You are. I was you, slapping around a little bit. You know what? That's, that's abusing that's someone. Abusing. And, and see, and it's that's. Not a, it's not abuse. Okay. But, you know, your fiance says you punch her in the face, you choke her, uh, you stomp her into the ground, you slam her head into gear shifts in the car, you slams her head into the car window when she's driving. Uh, throws her in the walls. You think she's cheating on you, and why do you think that's the case? Man, this is, okay, I come home from work, you know, I'm laying down, and uh, I play like I'm asleep, because I gotta go to work. And I'm, I'm, I look back, and she's texting, you know? I turn around, and say, hey, who you, who you texting? You know, what, what you doing, what, who you texting? She, oh, I ain't, I'm not texting nobody. I said, well, if you're not texting nobody, let me see the phone. She, she would not give me the phone. I said, let me see the phone if you're not cheating on me, because I, I do think you're cheating on me. Let me see the phone if you're not texting about it. You know, I mean, she won't give me the phone. You know, she continues to do what she do. See, that deserves a slap right there. See, simple, I give you an example of, of, of what the girl does. I give you an example of what she do does. You, uh, give you an example of why she deserves it. Do you, do you cheat on her? I mean, I cheated on her in the beginning of the relationship, because I just, and, and again, <laughs> man, and, and, in the beginning of the relationship, you know, I didn't love her. In the beginning of the relationship, I, I, didn't, I didn't love this woman, you know. She just was well, another girl I just wanted to get between her legs, you know. But after I, I loved her, you know, I started loving her, and I, I fell in love with her. Okay, I haven't cheated let, on her. I just, I'm going to bring her out right now. But why not make your life easier? Where if you think she's cheating on you, that you can't trust her, she doesn't cook for you, find another woman. Okay, you're right. But guess what? I'll tell you a story. I left her. Guess what? Two days later, she is at my motel room telling me to come back. Let's find out. Let's bring out Shantae. I Why you sitting out here lying? Why you not telling people the truth? Why you sitting out here lying? You need to tell these people the truth. You need to tell the truth. You need to tell the truth. Tell them the truth. You sit out here tell us up. You need to tell them the truth. Tell them the truth. You lie too much. Once you stop. You need to say that. You need to tell them the truth. Tell them what? Tell them the truth. Tell them what you do. What I do? Tell them what you what do. What I do? Sit at home and watch kids? Tell them what you do. What I do? Tell them what you do. What I do? Man, don't give me I'm that. I'm telling you what you don't I cook. do. You don't cook. Why should I cook for you if you put your hands on me? Man, man. Why? Why? Why should I cook for you? Why, man. Why? You are lazy. You're I'm a lazy, lazy woman. You're a lazy woman. Okay. You deserve everything you get. Really? Everything you okay. get, you deserve. Okay, well, put your hands on me again. You you'll deserve. see what's going to happen. Everything you deserve. Put your hands on me again and see what's going to happen. What you going to do? Listen, I want to talk to her for one second. Be quiet. Um, do no, there's no sitting now. So you're very emotional. Ah, uh, right crocodile tears. Okay. <laughs> Take it backstage until I talk to you. Um, why, why don't you have a seat? I want to talk to you. Um, how long have you been dating, Richard? Um, three, three years. Three years? Do you have children together? No, sir. Okay. How long ago was it the first time he like slapped you or punched you? Um, a year. A year ago? I mean, the first time yeah. was a year. Okay. So when he first time he slapped you in the face, what was what did you think? This is not happening again because I have been in abusive relationships. You've been down that road before. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he knows this, and when he done it, um, it was like a big shock to me. And he promised that he never would do it again. And then how long did it take before he hit you again? Um, a couple of months after couple that. Months. But and what, what caused him to strike you? I don't I I just 
don't know. It's he like talk, if he, he doesn't to... if he doesn't like what I do or say, right. he'll You're hit right. me. Okay. What do you want to happen today? I want him to stop being rude and disrespectful to me. I want him to stop putting his hands on me. I guess you both took lie detector tests, right? Yes. And I guess it's about whether you cheated on him. Yeah. Uh, do you cheat on him? No, I don't. Okay, but I guess you think he's seeing on sees other women behind your back? He sees other women. He he talks to other women on the phone. Okay, let's forget about the cheating. Who cares? I mean, I know at some point you care because you're with them, but when somebody's hitting you, that's so, that's the issue to be dealt with. You know what I mean? The, the cheating, it's like, I don't even care about that. I, that's not a big issue. It's the hitting part. Right. Because if one day he's going to hurt me, because he's okay. way you're, bigger you, you than know what? You're me, and I try to okay. defend myself. I try, You just but... said what I was going to tell you. One day, it'll be too late, and you won't be able to walk away. I, mean, I think she's cheating on me. All right, Richard, you took a lie detector test. In the past year, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman? You answered no, and the results? If you loved me, you wouldn't spit in my face. While she's holding your son, you become physically violent with her. What is running through your pea brain when you're doing that? Do you still want to be with him? I think she's cheating on me. All right, Richard, you took a lie detector test. In the past year, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman? You answered no, and the results? So I guess what I'm asking is he took a lie detector test, and if it comes back he's not cheating on you, do you really care? But I need him to tell me that he's going to stop, that he's going to get he help. And, no, he's going to get help for it. If he's not going to get help, then I can't do this anymore. My advice would be, um, to run as fast as you can, but. Uh, um, we're gonna get to the results. You came here, you wanted to find out. Let's bring Richard back out. I guess if the lie detector test comes back and he is cheating, would, that would definitely help to push him away from you. Okay. And from what I'm told is he lives in your house? Yes. Okay. So hold on, hold on. So I guess my offer would be to you is at the end of the show, if you wanted him out of your house, we would make sure if you know if we have to get the Houston police involved, oh we send our own security down there and remove him from your house, okay? <laughs> Richard, you believe that Shantae's been cheating on you? Yeah, I know she is. Okay, yeah. you know. Let's find out if she is. Um, Shantae, you've been asked on the lie detector test, since you've been dating Richard, have you had sexual intercourse with any other men? You answered no. Since you've been dating Richard, have you had sexual physical contact with any other men? She said no. And the results for both questions are the same. She told the truth. Any uh, reaction to that? Well, I'm sorry for accusing you. You know, I, th I really thought you was, but I'm man enough to say I'm sorry to you for that. Uh, the saddest part about the story is you got this woman comes out. She obviously is very hurt by you, cares about you. She wants to be with you, but I think, man, how could you possibly change? This is what you believe. You're 33 years old. You're not a kid anymore. Are you ever going to change? I can change. You can change. All right, Richard, you took a lie detector test. And let's see if you've been as faithful to Shantae as she has been to you. In the past year, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman other than Shantae? You answered no. In the past two months, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman besides Shantae? You answered no. And the results? He didn't tell the truth. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I do this for nothing. 
there, Richard. That's you put true. your hands on me for nothing. That's not true, man. That is That's not true. 100%. That test not 100%. Uh, what, per uh, what percent is it? I mean, 99.9. There you go. I'm, but I'm, I'm that point 0.1%. I'm that point 0.1. All of that for nothing, Richard. I didn't, why you just couldn't tell me the truth? I'm sorry. Sorry about what? Sorry about what? Everything you put me through? All the name calling? What are you sorry for? What are you sorry for? You understand, Chantel. You gotta, I mean, you still can need to do stuff better as a woman. I'm not doing nothing for you, you cheater. I'm not doing You know what, Shante? I want to say this. Um, I'm almost glad that his results came back the way they did. I don't think they're shocking or surprising to you. Um, I would hope for you, you know, somebody, oh, just get him help, get him help. Hey, screw that. You know what? You want help. If you think you did something wrong, then you'll go and do it and you'll change your life. If you don't and want to go down the path of destruction that you've chosen, then you'll keep going down that path. But as far as you, I'm going to help you. And when you get home, like I said, my offer is, We'll get this bum out of your house. I ain't going nowhere. So, I ain't, I ain't going nowhere. So, I ain't going nowhere. Um, I'm going to walk. So, right. I don't want you to go anywhere. This is something new. I'm going to try something new today. Yeah. I'm going to watch Shantae off the stage. I usually kick a bum off my stage, you know. But this, but this audience is so great. As I walk her off, let him stay out here, and you can boo the hell out of him. Did you ever punch her in the face? No. Punched and kicked her in the stomach while she's pregnant. And then when I tried to scream for help, he covers my mouth. Get your ass out of my chair. If you loved me, you wouldn't spit in my face. While she's holding your son, you become physically violent with her. What is running through your pea brain when you're doing that? Did you ever punch her in the face? No. Punched and kicked her in the stomach while she's pregnant. And then when I tried to scream for help, he covers my mouth. Get your ass out of my chair. I want to make a change within myself to um, help my relationship out with my girlfriend. Um, we fight a lot because she comes home from school, she wants to go with her friends, and I let her, you know? But she's starting to do this every day. And She's starting to overrule what I say. She'll, she'll leave even if I say not to. We have a kid together, you know? She's really irresponsible, you know? And how, how old are you? I'm 19. We've been together three years now since we were 16. And she's 19 also? Yes. Three months after we were together, we only known each other three months, she got pregnant. She still, I mean, we both want our freedom, you know? But I understand the fact that we have a kid and I need to be home with my son. What are you doing wrong? What I'm doing wrong, we, we've gotten into physical fights. Throughout the last two years, it's been getting worse. It all started when she got pregnant. It started off me raising my voice, her raising her voice. Then it got to pushing each other, slapping each other, throwing stuff at each other. I don't want to become some wife beater and later on be here known as a wife beater, you know? That's, I've never like hit her. Never punched Never kick. punched her, never left any marks on her. But we, we do get physical. And it hurts me doing that in front of my son and then seeing him cry, you know? Well, your girlfriend tells a different story. Let's, let's see that. My boyfriend is physically abusive. He's kicked me, socked me in my face. He's pulled my hair, threw me on the floor, kicked me while I was on the floor. And so I put on my jacket and I wanted to leave, but he forced me to stay there. 
and he told me to take off my jacket, but I didn't want to. So he went into the kitchen, got a knife, and came to me and said, if you don't, if you don't take it off, I'll cut it off of you. I feel stuck because because I feel like I have nowhere to go. He knows I don't want to be with him, but he knows I love him, so he forces me to stay with him. I want to continue my life. I want to be happy with my son. I can't do that living with him. So please help me out. I don't want to be abused anymore. Is what she says true? I'm not going to sit here and say no. That's it's right, just... you're not going to sit there. Get your ass out of my chair. change your ways exactly. so you don't become so what the hell are you running off stage for because i i didn't want to come here for that reason i'm here to change well you know I what would, you know I why she had here. to make that tape because she's afraid of you mm -hmm. she's afraid she's afraid to confront you with it she's so scared she didn't even want to do it on stage so that's how we allowed her and it must bother you to some point because all of a sudden now you're exposed for what you're really doing right Fine, I'm exposed. I'm here for a reason, Steve. Okay, okay? if you don't okay. believe me, that's fine. No, I, I, I believe you. I thought, but you know what? I don't like a guy that runs away from what he needs to take care of. Get your ass back out there. Maybe she just doesn't want to be with you. 19 years old. I can't blame her. You guys made a teenage mistake. You got pregnant. You know. But that doesn't mean you gotta stay together forever. Yeah, you gotta be good parents, be responsible. But you know, you come out here and you, you know, kind of soft play the abuse. But tell me how the jacket gets cut off. It didn't get cut off. Did you ever punch her in the face? No. Fire. Black or eye? No. Fire. Punched and kicked her in the stomach while she's pregnant? Liar. Did you bust her in her lip? Accidentally, yes. How do you how do you accidentally because bust we're lip? pushing and pushing and if, so if you push you know what I've never I've never I've never punched her in the face okay somebody sounds like they want to confront you. No, but you, you exaggerate. No, you exaggerate. I, I don't exaggerate. care. I don't care. Yes, you exaggerate. Okay, what okay? am I exaggerating over? Oh. Let me know. He'll pull my hair and push me <coughs> while I'm holding my kid. Is that true? Well, is whatever, that true? Whatever I say doesn't matter. So yes, it you. is true. Yes, it is true. It okay, is true? yes, it is. What is running through your pea brain when you're doing that? You punched her, you kicked her, you spit on her, right? Yes. You punched? You yes. Kicked, you spit on yes. Her. Do you still want to be with him? You punched her, you kicked her, you spit on her, right? Yes. You punched? You yes. Kicked, and spit on yes. Her. Do you still want to be with him? If you loved me like you said you would, you wouldn't spit in my face. You wouldn't beat me. You wouldn't throw me on the floor and kick me and say I'm how much of a piece of I am. You wouldn't sit there and say you're good for nothing. I hate you. Do you spit in her face? Yes, he does it all the time. Yes, yeah, she has too. He wants to be with other girls. I don't... I try to cook for him. I clean. I wash his clothes. I fold him. I put him away. And everything I do is just not good enough for him. Like, if I cook something for him and it's not the way he wants it, he yells at me and tells me how stupid I am and just nothing's right. You say you hate me. You say you don't want to be with me. And then later, oh, I'm sorry. You get on your knees and you cry with me while I'm still crying after what you do to me. And you say, I'm sorry, I won't call you a bitch again. I will never hit you again. And a week later, bam goes back to normal. Remember that time when you went to jail? That day that you came out, be the out of me. The next day after court, and you promised me you wouldn't do it no more. Why did he do that? I honestly don't remember he why. He just came we home argued. and just beat the hell out of you. We, we, we argued about something, and he 
threw me on the floor, kicked me, hit me, pulled my hair, tossed me on the bed, threw me against the wall. And then when I tried to scream for help, he covers my mouth. I thought that he would learn his lesson. I thought that people would scare the shit out of him in jail. I thought that him being in jail would change him, would make him open his eyes. Do you still want to be with him? No, I don't. I love him to death, but I don't. You know, I'd be the biggest hypocrite in the world if I tried to save this, if I tried to make this okay. Why? Hell no. You punched her, you kicked her, you spit on her, right? Yes. You punched, you yes. kicked, and spit on yes. her. Yes. So before, yes. when you told me you didn't do those things, you lied to me, right? You didn't act. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So will, will I help you? Yeah, I'll help you because you got a little boy. And it's going to do us no good if you stay the way you are. It's not going to help that little boy at all. So yeah, I will. <clears throat> you got a friend here? Yes, I do. Let's bring her up. You realize that coming here is a big step for you, and I want you to know that I want you to come home with me. My doors are open to you. You know that. I'm willing to take you in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Katrina, you're, you're the one who called the show? Yes. And why did you call? Because I've seen the abuse, and it just hurts me. She came to my house about a week ago, covered in dirt. She couldn't. She couldn't breathe. She was trying to catch her breath. She had a welt on her stomach where he punched her and a, a welt on the back of her arm where he kicked her after she was on the ground. My doors are open to you and the baby, you know? It's my best friend. You gonna take the oh, opportunity? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you. I want hey, you to know that you are the most worthless piece of crap Shut ever. Up. For you to sit there and treat her like that, especially in you front got, of your you son. You know what I don't like is, you know, seeing you, you know, punch her, marks all over her. And what does she do? She's just trying to help. She's tired of her friend getting beat up. So she actually does something. And what do you do? You're getting mad at her? No, 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 no. It's just that. Oh, no, 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 no. She, what did I just see? I see you getting in her in. face and yelling and screaming at her? I thought you said you wanted help. Are you, or really, no, it's no, just no, an no, act. No, no. Are you going to go you back you and you're going to do it? You don't know what this is at Then home. get out of it, then. You if it's know. so bad, get out of it. <laughs> Your guys' arguments are your guys' arguments. You're gonna have your arguments. And Just nobody, like me and my boyfriend are gonna no have arguments. But stuff. when it comes to you putting your hands on her, that's when it's my business, and I will get into it. You know, see now, you, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking smile. like I really want to help you, but then I see you act this way, and I think, you know what? You're just a dirtbag. Yeah, that's what you are. Yeah. You want to go and live your life as a dirt uh, Go ahead. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. The song of the coward. Keep singing it. You know what? I, I, I'm proud of you. Because you put up with a lot of abuse. And you had the courage. And I'm really proud of you, too, for having the guts to say, you know what? I'm not going to let somebody do this to my friend. And I'm picking up the phone, and I'm calling, and I'm going to do something about it, and I'm going to put a stop to it. You know, and you could be a role model for other young girls out there watching, saying, don't let this happen to you. Don't let this man continue to do this. you got a great opportunity with somebody that cares about you, your friend. You know what? you got to take it. you got to run with it. And good luck to you.